This next set of tricks are from Stretchy, which are a bunch of collection of tricks which I put together, and I'm going to show Catherine here some of those tricks. Hi. Hi, Catherine. Uh, I've got some hair ties here. Would you choose any two colours? Um, I think I like the pink one and the blue one. Excellent. We'll get rid of the rest. These are simple hair ties. Uh, I wouldn't know much about them not having any hair, but hopefully you have seen them before. What we're going to do is we're going to take one hair tie and simply wrap it through the other one. Would you place your finger and thumb like so? I'm going to place this inside of your finger and thumb and now you keep it trapped. Now the red one is secured around your thumb. It's the only way to get the red one out and the blue one in its place. I don't think so. Well if you're a magician you could just do that. Ooh. It's simply you pull on one end and it swaps their places. It's like magic, the tr transposing bands. You simply, all you need to do is take, take one of the ends and just pull, and you can make them switch places. Let's make it even harder. We're gonna take one of these bands and add it into this one with that one. Choose a color, blue or pink? Uh, pink. Pink. So we're gonna leave the pink one on your hand and we're gonna take this blue one and get rid of it, just like that, through your form. Yeah. Do you still want the pink one? In fact, we'll use both of them, we'll use both of them. Would you hold out your hand like so? Bring it towards me. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to try and wrap these bands around my wrists here and place them around your wrists. They're going to jump from my hand and appear on your hand just by going one, two, three, like that. In fact, we'll go even further. We'll go right through your arm itself. We go one, two, three, and they can jump through your arm and out the other side. Would you like to learn how to do some of those tricks? Yes, please. Let me teach you guys how to do some tricks. We're going to use these hair ties. You don't have to use hair ties. In the past, I've used everything from shoelaces, in which case I took a pair of shoes and literally took the lace out and tied the ends together like this. It helps if you've got two different colour shoelaces. So for the purpose of this explanation, because I've not got two different colour laces with me today, we'll use these hair ties, but you could do the same trick with the laces and just to prove that, would you place your finger through there or arm through there, that'd be fine, and we can literally swap them over with the laces. So if you haven't, if you want to do this trick and you're in the street, you don't have hair ties with you because you don't have any hair, then you can take your shoelaces out and do it with those, okay? So let me show you how some of these tricks work. Would you choose any two colours again? Perfect. I'll take the original blue and the pink. They've served me well in the last five minutes. And we're going to take the two colours and place one through the other like this. Okay. So one strand is dangling on the other strand. Perfect. We're going to tie them, bring those two ends together, and I'll literally just rest them on my thumb for now. And then lock them together. Now this is what we did with the spectator, and this is a simply self-working effect. You're just going to take one of the ends and pull downwards, and they swap places. Mm -hmm. It's a self-working simple trick and they simply swap places. We're going to go from the beginning again just because I've learned from the past it's helpful to see how we set that up. So just don't take the two pieces. Simply watch as we take one and place it inside of the band like this so it's resting across the two pieces. Bring the ends together and place them on your thumb and trap them together like this and pull. Now the second part of the trick it's how to make one of them come, uh, pass through the thumb. You're going to take the bottom strand here and just slip it into the hand with the thumb. Now in this case, but the yellow band is going to come free and for me it's going to be the pink band. But an important thing to do is to pull on this far side strand, the one which is closest towards you, so that's this one. Because if you were to pull that strand, it just comes straight free. So give it a pull, and it comes straight. You know, if you do it with the other strand, so if you just pull this one, it will still come free, but you might get one of these knots. Uh, this is got a hedgerage notch, and all I'm going to do is pull it apart before it makes that knot. But we can avoid that altogether just by simply pulling away at the strand closest towards you, and then it's impossible for it to knot through. So let me show you one more time. Excellent, and they come through. So the next ones I showed you were how to make the band jump from my arm to your arm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to perform this trick on you to begin with, so I'll let you put those down. Again, if you just place your hand inside, and we'll go one, two, three, they pass across. Now what I'm doing here is 
I'm taking, I'll let you get a nice close up view of this actually. I'm placing the two strands around my arm. My fingers are at the top. They're going downwards. So keep, see the orientation that I'm doing this in. I'm going to rotate my wrist. And you see this gap here? I'm going to place my finger inside of it. And then I just rotate it back. But it creates this, this little knotty thing with my finger in, the plate, in its place. And then take this big hole here. This goes over my wrist and I can let go if I wish, but my finger stays there. It's pressing against the palm of my hand so that it can't get free. Now at this point, all you need to do is hold up your hand. If I was to place these strands around her wrist, as soon as I let go of my finger, it will jump straight to her arm. So we're gonna go through that whole thing from the beginning. It's from two, the, both strands are on the wrist. In this case, they're on my left wrist, because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna do most of the work with my right hand, which is represented by this. And um, fingers at the top, I rotate my wrist away from me. Finger goes into the gap, which is furthest away, and I rotate back. It then goes over my fist, that's the big gap, the one furthest to my right fingers. And I can let go if I wish to, you don't always have to, but I, I always keep note. It doesn't, it shouldn't make any difference what strands you pick up from that point onwards. But I always pick up the same strands anyway. If you place your hand inside, again, as long as my finger is pressed there, and it's not releasing those bands, I can stay here as long as I want. And whenever I'm ready, I just do a magical gesture, and then I release my fingers, and it jumps from her hand to my hand. So, you give it a go. Okay. Rotate away from you, finger in the far gap, rotate backwards and over the arm. That's it. And I would go that way. Voila, excellent. And now the final trick was where we passed it through your arm itself. So in this case, if you take, if you place your arm here, place your hands on the wrist, I went one, two, three, and it passed through your wrist. For this trick, I'm actually holding it with my finger, two, first two fingers on each hand. Doesn't matter if you use one or two strands, I'm using two, just because we've used two throughout the whole trick, it makes more sense. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna literally pull on the strands, and as my fingers get, as my thumbs are free, as they get closer together, my thumb goes inside of this strand and pulls apart while letting go of the fingers, and it flies around. Now at the end, my thumb is through the band, but no one ever notices that, and I can just quickly squeeze my fingers into the gap. So if I go like this, it happens so fast you can't see it. One, two, three. So in slow motion, fingers are in, I go one, two, thumb in, pull, release from the finger, and slide, fingers. The important thing to note is even though your thumb's in, it has to slide off these fingers, and it just simply flies around the body. So would you take it? Okay. Or the arm. So the two fingers. Now choose whichever thumb you want it to be. Okay, and that goes in. <laughs> that's okay, that's what everybody does, don't worry. So that's, that's it. And then you form a slow motion first. Grab it, fingers, that's it, perfect. Try it one more time. Perfect. Now I've done this trick lots of times, so for me it's really, really fast. And I practiced by doing, on a, doing it on my leg. You can do the trick on your leg, I don't know if you can see that and I can make it go through my leg. You can actually make it go through table legs, through chairs, through lamp posts. Once you've got the technique down, it's really, really quick. No one ever sees it goes past. So one more time. <laughs> go on. But slowly, I think, well, you're still practicing it. That's it, there you go. So just slow down to begin with, just while you're practicing it, you'll build up the speed, the speed will come just with doing with repetition. The more you do it, the faster you'll get. So do you think you got those tricks? Okay. I hope you enjoyed them. Again, if you need to want, if you want to do it straight away, just take a pair of shoes, take out the shoelaces, and you've got the tricks straight away to do. I hope you enjoyed them. Thanks for watching.